shoot. It's the only reason they come to my town. Gentlemen, welcome. Lovely to see you. And you too, madam. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we have a police present today because the court has been in session all morning and there is this awful gossiping, nagging woman who has been on trial for just that, gossiping and nagging her husband. <laughs> Disgusting habit. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the bad news. The good news is that I have with me today, my chief constable, right over here. Chief constable, ladies and gentlemen, is going to tell you folks what happened in Bermuda a few days ago. Like 400 years ago. <laughs> Constable, maybe a good time for you to tell these folks what happened a little while ago. Meanwhile, these gentlemen here, I've already primed, so you carry on, sir. I got it all under control. I got to start, Craig. We're going to get you right. Welcome to the town of St. George, UNESCO World Heritage Site, where, as Tom Cry said, you'll soon see what we do to bust the minute, Mr. Burgess. First of all, we get asked by the office, did this place of punishment take place? And yes, going back in the archives and all sorts of records there are uh, explained in the punishments that took place in the early 1600s. But first of all, let me tell you about this one island over here in the early 1600s. Uh, there's two islands. One was Bunny Squall Island, and the other was Bunny Island. And you can imagine what happened on the bottom. Bunny Squall Island was in the early 1600s. 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 Bunny Squall after the nine vessels that from England bound to Kansas and Virginia were in 62 surface on, to look up the settlement that had been established there in 1607. It was the largest of England in the North America. They ran into what we think was a hurricane and got scattered, and the flame ship, the sea venture, ended up on the rocks just east of the island. If you go to the you can overlook the area where the sea venture went around. When they landed, they found a lot of wild hogs here, probably by the Spanish, just specifically the shipwrecked sailors, so they had fresh meat. But there were turtles, there were fish, there were birds, so there was plenty of food. They were here for some nine months, during which time they built two vessels, they delivered patients to the ancient site was home. And uh, actually, normally, you go to work in the deliveries below decks, and we went straight to the secretary of the Virginia Company. I will tell you the story of the shipwrecks here and the city of North Gamestock. A lot of this uh, network went on the different states closed today. Once the two vessels were completed, they filled them up with as much of the food, the wild hogs, and birds, and turtles, and so forth, and sailed from Gamestock. When they arrived there, the 496 settlers had been put there in 1607, 1608, there was only 42 left alive. They were sickness, they had problems with the Indians, they had starvation, starvation so much that cannibalism had set in, and so the arrival of the deliverance of the patients basically saved the game of the settlement. The Indians were on the very young patient, they came off the back of the game of the settlement, and not survived as they did a settlement. The Dutch, Portuguese, French, Spanish were up and down the coast trying to get the settlement. James Town did not survive North America today. Very well, we speak in Dutch or French or Spanish like the majority of South America. So it was important that they saved James Town. Meanwhile, back in the year of 1604, the fire arrived uh, with some 42 settlers of New York North and the town of St. George's for the South. We celebrated our 400th anniversary in 2012, as did St. Peter's Church, the Majesty's Chapel. The church at the time was not only the church, but it was also the seat of government and official courts. Up to 1620, the state house, the mock building on top of the hill, was built, and both government and 
bankrupt the state house and remained there to be, and the capital was changed to Hamilton. Going back to the records, you find that in uh, 1818, trying to do this church, Peter Higgins got charged to help the state of Scout. Why so what? He drank the
look at that. You see that? You see that? You see? Excuse yes. me, madam. You show your due respect for the queen. But sir, I don't do Show that. your due respect. You too, sir. Did you not hear me? How are we gonna do Both it? of you. I said, God save the queen. He got more hair than you. <laughs> oh, that wasn't that? a hat? No, you that's hair. On top? Hair. Adam, what's hair got to do with it? It's beautiful. Let me assure you, ladies and gentlemen, bald is indeed beautiful. <laughs> right, sir? He knows too. I can tell. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, boys hey, don't and girls, the red. Take it him. I am the town crier of St. George's, and this woman is who I was telling you about who has been found guilty no, this morning of gossiping and nagging her husband. I was not nagging my husband. What are you talking about, woman? <laughs> I heard you nagging your husband with my own eyes. Are you sure? And you, sir, you have been charged with being a drunkard. I want to know, do you be guilty or not guilty? Not guilty. Not guilty. Not guilty. Say it one more time. Not guilty. All right, we all heard it now. All those here present who believe this awful, wretched, drunken fool should be punished today, say I. Aye. Thank you. Anyone opposed? Until the sun goes behind a cloud and freeze You need to go in the ducking store. No, 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 but I need to talk to my son. I'm not going to be here for a long time. Uh, you see how he says you want to go in the drink? I heard like you said that, sir. You said that. No, 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 no. Yes, you did. No, 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 I heard no, 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 no. you say you want a drink. I heard you say you want to go Wait, 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 wait. Put her in the dog, Mr. No, that's not fair. No, 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 Mr. Constable. If you be quiet, madam, see all these folks here want to take your picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, gentlemen, put your hand on that off, and wheel it out over the water. Excuse me, madam. Are you saying you repent? You gotta tell me. I'm in charge. But, 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 he's that doesn't sound like repent to me. He's the one that said I'm not guilty. No, no, no. He's not a judge, though, madam. The judge, three judges, all men, and they found you guilty. That's all there is to it. Now all you have to do, so you uh, you won't get punished, is to repent. Okay, so do you repent? <laughs> you just washed your hair? Yes, sir. Well, I tell you what, we're going to give you a little rinse out. Would you like that? No! But Mr. you promised. Does that sir, sound like repent? Excuse no, me, sir. You promised me last night you're not going to do this to me today. What? I promised you what? You said you're not going to do What, me. last night? You promised me you're not going to dump me in the water. I was nowhere near you last night, woman. What are you trying to say? And you forgot you were dancing at the bar? Gentlemen, are you ready? Okay. I'm fed up with this nonsense. I know that people that threw me to the bar. Duck her now. Let it go. Oh, Good listen. job, guys. Come down on that road. What do you think I pay you for? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I need I'm you back. I'm laughing, folks. Let up. Do you repent now? I'm sorry, what did you say? I cannot hear you. I got water in my ear. Oh, you got water in your ear? Yes. Which one? This one. Well, I tell you what we're going to do. 
question. We're gonna duck you one more time, get water in the other one, huh? and even it up. Well, duck her again! Okay. No, 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 Let no, it no. go! <laughs> <laughs> Now do you repent? And it depends on such a wife that too. What'd you say? No, no, I repent. What'd you say? She's wearing the pants? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, you, you gotta say it loud, madam, so I know you mean it. I say I repent, sir. No, no, really loud, Mr. Constable. Can you hear that? Nope. Madam? Talk her again! Give them some practice. You guys ready to practice? Don't go over there for practice. You guys are getting good. Hey, I was not ready for that. I'm sorry, madam. Did you say you repent now? Now you gotta say it really loud, madam. I repent. No, no, loud. We come over here. You can't hit me, madam. Don't go over there. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. 